level also houses the water and sewage systems for both levels. What is up guys? Razor here. Welcome back to White Knight Chronicles 1 Remastered for the PS3. Last time, continue on through the Greed Underbelly. In this episode, maybe finish this area. I'm not sure if I'll be able to finish it in this episode or not. But maybe. I gotta go back to level 1. And we're gonna have to fall down again. So in the last episode, we explored all that, that whole southern area there. And fell down all three... All three drains in the last episode. Those three drains fell on all three of them. Uh, so now we explored this whole right side and then the su southern path as well. So now we can go this way. Oh no, we can't. Hmm. Maybe we can only go to level three then now. Yeah. It's like we're done with. Level 1 and 2. I do know... Uh, during the side quest you can go to those paths. I'm not sure if we can get to them in the storyline though yet. But apparently not. So the only way we can go now is level 3. Because I'm pretty sure these doors are locked. Except for that one right there. Yeah. Okay. On to level 3 then. I do know during the quest the the whole area is open to explore. Like I know Nordia Tunnels, um, part of it's uh, blocked for the storyline, uh, but for the quest you can explore the entire area out of order. Yeah, and that's where we're supposed to go anyway. Right there is the star, so. Yeah, we are going to be able to finish this area in this episode. We're nearly there, Amir. Finally, we get to meet the demi -core. Gonna save it here. They put a save point here. That means gonna be a boss battle up ahead. here first. Hill Potion 2. I'm gonna fight the Wind Elementals as well. Oh, critical hit. Let's do this. 
How much gold do we have? 14,000, not bad. Mana potion too. Alright, here we go. Cutscene time. Look at the size of it. There's a Dimithor. Up onto the bunker load caverns. Yeah, we did fully explore the greed underbelly, but um, it expands later on. I know during the quest, uh, there's a quest. Uh, where you got to go to, um, How did it do back that? to the underbelly, and it ex and you can fully explore the area. Then, gentlemen, right? Shall we? So we'll, we will be going back there eventually, whenever it expands. Yep. Took long enough. Sister must be close. So, is this princess hot? The way you <laughs> on about her. Whew. Boy, oh boy, she must be smoking. <laughs> hey, move it. Alright, now that Greed's... Or, not the Greed on her belly's done. Maybe we can finally accept the quest uh, in Flander Trail. Let's find out. Nope, still not available. Maybe we need to be a higher guild rank. Otherwise, I'm not really sure when you unlock it. Yeah, we gotta go to the bunker load caverns now. Now that the greed on her belly is complete for now. Like I said, we'll be going back there later whenever we can fully explore the area. But for right now, it won't let us, fu won't let us fully explore it yet. So, we'll have to wait till later. Bunker Load Caverns. Now yeah, skip the train cutscene. No point in watching it. And here we are, our next destination. Bunker. Load caverns.
Be careful by the ruins. That's dragon territory. A number of our workers have been attacked. Generally speaking, dragons leave humans alone, but they don't like people anywhere near their nest. For now, my dad suspended work in that area. Also, one of the dragons that lives in the ruins wears armor. An armored dragon? Crazy, right? But that's the story. At least that's what they say. Hey, it's not as if I've seen the thing myself. So then basically, going after Cisna will tick it off. Ugh, figures. Hey, no sweat. Dragons like me. Well, probably. Anyway, it'll be an adventure. <laughs> Alright, so we went out to the world map and we unlocked some quests here. Mine, free monster quests. Best serve cold. Mo oh, here's the monumental treasure right here. Yeah, level 41 plus, we can't do that right now. Yeah, here's monumental treasure right here. Oh, we gotta be level 16 plus, which we, we can do. Oh, we can also do best served cold as well. Can't do that, that's way too high level. 41 plus. Could probably do that one eventually. 30, well, it's 31. It's still too high for right now. Alright, so let's do the. Before we go to the bunker load caverns, let's do the monumental treasure quest. We'll do that in this episode. So let's go ahead and start it up here. Alright, let's go ahead and start it up here. A client needs someone to research three monuments in the Flander Mountains. The work involves solving the riddle of the monuments, then retrieving whatever treasure they may hold. Solve the riddle of the monuments, requirements not met, and time players wiped out during boss battle. Level, just level 16 plus, maximum party size 4, and corrupt is use not allowed. And we'll go ahead and start it up here. Alright, so the first thing we're going to have to do is talk to Pap Leo. Who's right here. I'll leave the dialogue on the screen for a while. If you need to read it, pause it. I'm not going to bother to read it because we're on a time limit here. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is head to B2. Up to there. And that's where the Earth Dragon's gonna be. <laughs> For some reason, <laughs> that's where the Earth Dragon's gonna be. Dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. For whatever reason, that when I said that, it reminded me of Walker, Texas Ranger. I don't know why.
I think I have points to put in the main character too. Or not the main character, the creative character, I mean. Yeah, he has 15 points, holy crap. Decoy. That seems very bad for an archer to use, though. Accuracy. All right, continue on here. I thought we can mine over. Oh, yeah, we can right here. We got fire giant, nice. Let's use poison tip. Got to poison this thing. It might not be able to be poisoned, but I'll try. Yep, got it poison, nice. That'll help our DPS out. Yeah, so don't follow the stars yet. We need to go fight the Earth Dragon first. So we need to go this way and make our way to the northwest. Uh, the the stars are kind of misleading.
All right, so up ahead should be the Earth Dragon. Yep, there it is. See it? I got a Jimurf, nice. Alright, so now we have the Jimurf, that's what we needed. Now we need to go to C3. Um, so we need to follow this path on over to C3. And I'll be able to use the Gem of Earth on one of the monuments. And it'll transform it. Got a lot of enemies here. Raise the gem of earth into the light, yes. Transforming a gem of heaven, alright, good. Those who seek the power of heaven must bring light to the earth, yep. Alright. Examine the monument of truth at D5. Okay, so we gotta go to D5 now. So I'm assuming we can get to if we follow this path. I could be wrong though.
Yeah, we just have to go down there. damage there by Leonard. Alright, so we go to southeast here. Okay, there's a hole there. Do not fall on the hole until after you examine the monument. Those who seek the power must raise high power of heaven here and overcome the trial below. Then and only then shall we grant the power of know all. Raise the gem of heaven? Yes. A gem of heaven transformed into the gem of truth. Okay, now we need to fall on the hole. Yeah, make sure to examine the monument first. Or you, you kind of have to go back up there if you don't. So just make sure to do that first before you fall down. Once you use this, uh, it'll start the uh, boss battle. You sense tremendous power here. Your trial is at hand. Raise the gem of truth, yes. And this will start the boss battle. Alright, it's boss time against the ice giant. So weak to fire. Yep. Or, well, of course it'd be weak to fire. I actually got a fire combo here I'm gonna use. There we go, got it. Very easy, boss. And for defeating the boss, you get the Gem of Reason, which will allow you to complete this quest. Now you gotta return it to Paplio. Alright, so let's make our way back to Paplio now. Uh, we're gonna mine over here first.
Whoa! Let me got jacked. All right, so now we return to Peplio. Uh, he's to the northwest of where I'm at now, and then I'll complete the quest. Nice slender level up there, level 25. Got another AC point. I'll probably put points into him after... Um... To complete the quest. Jimber Breezen, it has haunted my dreams for so many years. I don't know how I can ever express my gratitude. A thousand thanks. Now to complete the quest. 20 minutes it took. So I should get a decent time bonus. Got 7,000 guild rank points. Uh, we need 11,000 till next rank. Got 2,000 for completion it. Completing it. 800 time bonus. 1,315 enemy bonus. Here's the enemies that we defeated. We defeated 11 jackals, 15 vespid, 11 boars, 12 ice lizards, 1 fire giant, 1 ice giant. Fire Lizard and one Earth Dragon. Get 1300 gold. And we get four to Hilla. Bunch of items here Salt Peter Shard, Iron Giant Mask, Chromium Pearl Level 2, White Beast Skin, Old Gold Claw Coin, and Ice Giant Anklet. So a ton of rewards there. And that'll be it for this episode guys. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And later.